If you're displaying images in your video, um, you may be a photographer and you want to show the images that you took on a particular trip. I think it's often much nicer to present them with a border rather than present them full screen. I think the border really accentuates them. It's the same as it would be in print. And I'm going to show you in this video the easiest way that I have found to add a border to images that you're showing on your videos. In fact, it's so easy. It's just one click. Well, not specifically one click, but one drag and drop, which is almost the same thing. So let's have a look at that. So here we are in Premiere and I'm going to just uh, drag an image onto the timeline and I'm going to select that image and in the effects controls just reduce the scale of it so that there's room for a border. My preset is in the effects presets bin and I simply take that and drag it onto the image and there we have a border and we could scale this further. The border will move and scale with the image itself. So let's just leave that down there um, and I'll just click on motion so I can drag it around on the screen. Let's add a second image into this. So just going back to the project panel and I'll pick up another image at random here um, and I'm going to do the same for that. Scale it down a little bit Click on motion here and just move it along to the side a little bit and go to effects and take the border and drag it onto that one. And now we have a border on that one as well. So you can see that you can display images very easily and just simply add borders to them with basically one click or more specifically one drag and drop. And it's as easy as that. Let's now have a look at how to make that preset. To make this preset, we'll start by dropping an image onto the timeline. And I'm going to, in the effects control panel, just reduce the scale of this image a little bit so that we can see a border around it, leave room for the border around it. And to put that border on, I'm going to use the effect of drop shadow. So here it is. I'll just drag that onto the clip, onto the image, and we have drop shadow in the effects. First of all, I want to change the color of the shadow to white. I'll do that by just typing six F's into the hex code for that color. We've now got white for a border. I'm going to change the opacity to 100%. Going to change the direction to zero. And I'm going to change the distance to 100. Now the distance is basically the width of the border. I'm working on a 4K video here, so 100 might work for me. If you're working in 1080p, maybe you want to choose 50 or whatever suits you for this. But um, we have created our border along one side of the image and we want to do it along the other three sides. So I'm going to copy that and paste it three times. Just close down the top one and on the second one, I'm going to change the direction to 90. Close that one down and change the direction on the third one to 180. Close the third one down, open the fourth and change the direction to 270. And basically we have done it. We've um, added the borders on all four sides of this. So I'm just going to click on each of these and select them. And I'm holding down um, control or command to select them. So having done that, I'm right clicking on them and saving it as a preset and I'll call it border white 100 pixels and press return on that. If I just get close off that search bar and look in the presets bin, you see that we now have border white 100 pixels. If I delete this image, go into our project bin, take a new image. And again, I will just select that and lower the size of it a little bit to leave room for a border. Go into effects and then just drag this preset that we've made onto it. And suddenly we have a border around it. If you scale the picture, the border will scale with it. It will um, change at the same rate. 
and if you move it around um, the border moves with it so it's a perfect way to get a border on any image you can also use this technique to put a border around a video that you want to show it doesn't have to be an image if we delete this image off the timeline and I add a little video that I used that I used last week because I was illustrating that I have a little bit of a, a croaky voice after having had the flu. I'm just going to narrow this down a little bit so that there's room for a border as well. I'm going to, um, in this case, just delete the audio track off that because it's not needed. Go back into if the effects here and the preset bin and just drag the border onto that. And you'll see now that this video has um, a border around it. Now, this was actually a 1080p video. So in this case, um, the border is a little bit large for it because it's scaled up to 162. But um, as I say, we could create one of these um, for 100 pixels. We could create one for 50 pixels as well, and that would do the job. So you can see that works perfectly well as a border for video, as well as a border for images. If you find this video useful, please give it a like. It really helps the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.